Hello and welcome back. I'm Shelf Unit and this is my continuing let's play of Shadowrun Hong Kong Extended Edition. Okay, last time we um, talked to Ardy Chen Cheng and the crew about the Plastic Faced Man, how that run went, and we had a bit of a blacking out and we talked to a few people about the, uh, the unfortunate things happening in the walled city. And now we are heading out, finally, to take down Josephine Tsang. Let's see how we do. We've got a Decker. Yeah. Let's go. Infiltrating the headquarters of a mega corp and locating Raymond Black will be challenging enough. Extracting him from his mother's assist device before his memories are permanently altered is another thing altogether. You hop the MTR South Island line and roll noisily down to the nearby island of At Lei Chao, a dense forest of soaring skyscrapers and corporate greed. Amid them, blending innocuously with its neighbours, stands Prosperity Tower. Emerging from the MTR station, you find a delivery van point waiting for you, just where Strangler Bell said it would be. Pull the van around the building to the loading dock of the Sang Mechanical Services and its CEO, Josephine Sang. Okay, now we've got loads of stuff. Let's pop that in there. Let's give Isabel all of these lovely juicy bits of gear. Let's give Gobbit all of these. And this. And you can have another one of these and another grenade. Boom. And we're done. Oh, okay. Um Okay, if we have karma available, this indicates that we will be uh, will be finishing up. I'll do something. No metallic scent hits you as you enter the loading dock. A swirl of gas, oil and steel, packing grates. The fluorescent lighting above casts a glorious hue throughout the dingy garage. One of the lights in the corner is out smashed in by the looks of it. It seems the behind the scenes world of Sang is just as dirty as its business practices. Not far in front of you stand a couple of corporate workers, unaware of or at least indifferent to your presence. Security may look like, but we're not in yet. The world will only get us so far. Words will only get us so far. Things are bound to get heated eventually. Just be prepared to cover your ass when the bullets fly. We've got a lot to get past before we get to get to Raymond. He's right. Keep our objective in sight. Kindly said we can find information on Raymond's location in the security stations. It'll be tricky getting into them, but once we do, that's also where we can cut the alarm system. Once we find Raymond, I'll be happy to help with his liberation. She wraps her fingers on her cyber deck. Oh, and as for the sank security passes, we shouldn't rely solely on them. They'll help, but using them alongside our own wits will be most effective. Okay. The loading lock supervisor is glued to his monitor, his hand holding a sound piece up to his right ear. You hear a faint cheer come from the device and he shoves his fist into the air and triumph. Score! 
and his eyes now off the screen, he spots you. Well, it's about time. He pauses as he takes in your appearance. Are you really the special courier who was only sent to deliver our load of Enviro controller chips? Obviously, I don't like this crap around for fun, you know. No, you never know. Policy to check. Speaking of, let's see your credentials. Show me forged ID. You see, as I dart over the ID, he glances at you before sighing and pushing it away. Checks out, man. Delivery standards have really dropped these days. Take that shipment to the security station in the sub basement. Door here will lead you to the right floor. Once you check things at the station, head back here. Don't wander off. Your clearance is for the sub basement and the sub basement only. Guards around here are strict as sin. Make a joke to one once, and you really nearly glare me in half. I swear, they must have their sense of humour surgically removed. Gotcha. Is it okay to leave the van here? Cruise on lunch, so you should have plenty of time. I'll buzz you once you get back. Right, be back soon. Loading dock. Maintenance manager. Talk to him. You're greeted by the sight of a dwarf leaning against a desk, nose deep inside a book. The plaque next to her read, hip reads, maintenance lead. She holds up her finger to silence you, eyes lock on her story. After a moment, she dolly a page and sets the book on top of the desk. By the way she seizes you up, you can tell she's not in the business of making friends. Yes. Corporate etiquette. Show your Tsang Payas's now at new employee orientation to tell me to report here for training assignments on the next shift rotation. Before you do anything around here, you've got to change out of those ridiculous clothes. Hit the locker room and grab a uniform. Show some goddamn company pride. She studies you again, clearly unimpressed. Or at least they finally sent me somebody here. Locker code. That sign security. Lock her up. Let's talk to them. And who are you supposed to be? Show me a saying security process. First day, I was told to report here. Well then, come shit show. Welcome to the shit show that's 4th B3. Our boss is a dick, bad at everything, and loves to blame others. That's why the company put her down here. Any tips? Yeah, don't fuck up. You're at Sang now. Not even your, your god awful boss will tolerate anything less than the best. In fact, I suggest you make a habit of checking with her early. She hates it when people are late. With how much she enjoys pointing that finger, stay on the good side. He looks at his locker and heads out. Enter the code, which is 20x27. Ah, shit. Put on uniforms. Most of your team begrudgingly rifles through the blockers, picking the uniforms closest to their size. One by one, they button up and soon a hodgepodge of frumpy maintenance workers stand before you. A little tiny in the arms, but great in the hips. You can really tear up a dance floor in this. She swirls her hips and spins on her heel. When she comes back around, she grabs her chin and strikes a pose. This is the pose I used to win hearts. She straightens up and pats the uniform. I hope Sam doesn't mind if I uh, keep this. Let's just swirl on back here for a little bit. Okay, so there's that guy there. Let's roll across on here. I'm probably doing this. We're probably doing this the wrong way, the wrong way around. So I've got to walk away, so let's go around here. Anything we do here, 
talk to her now. Much better. Should I assume this is your new sector? That's what they told me. She lets out a breath of relief. About time I got some help down here. I've got a task to break you in fast. Autocoupler on the main terminal that flow regulators need to restart and gauge its airflow mixes and then report back to me. Optional, use the maintenance terminal to start the flow mixes. Where the hell is the, ma uh, there's the maintenance terminal? Not sure how this works, but we shall see. <clears throat> Standard mod terminal, everything looks fairly basic, including its controls. You notice something flashing in the corner of the screen, a message entitled Urgent, open up the message. Lee, I need you to get your team together and fix the climate turbine, make it top priority. It's been radiating heat on warm days and cooling on cold days. People around the office are getting pissy. I'm not going to take that shit on your behalf. So the longer you wait, the more you court, you quarterly reveal suffer. Thomas Young, Vice President of Building Maintenance. Attach the message to work order, red sentence, leads accept, reads accept task, yes or no, accept. Reboot the controls. Walk away. Talk to her again. Good work, Ricky. That's all I need for now. Why don't you take a break? Just do it, do it outside my office. I got a date with a new novel. Great. Oh wait, did I mention the terminal had another maintenance request in it? Something about fixing a turbine? I accept the task. She slams her head on hands on top of the desk. What? You signed off on a goddamn turbine engine? Can't do that. I need I need at least a crew four level three text to even do an evaluation of that thing. Oh, long got requests sat in the system, the worse it'd look for us anyway. The anger drains from her. She closes her eyes and rubs her temples. Shit, rookie, if you signed off on the order, we gotta do it, or the department is sunk. So what we're gonna do. You head to the turbine, and I'll unlock the damn admin controls from there. Now, it's very important, very expensive piece of machinery, so you need to do exactly as I say. Got it? Got it. Let's repair the turbine. I assume that's here again. A live video window is open in the middle of the terminal screen. You see the face of the Evertense maintenance manager glaring back at you. All right, Ricky, I started the turbine in standby mode, so its electronics should be working. I need you to troubleshoot the issue from your end whilst I reference the machine's manual on my end. Now, let's see. So here we should start by repressurizing the hydraulics. There should be a program on your terminal specifically for monitoring and controlling the turbine. Once you're in there, select the hydraulics and hit the appropriate command. Done. Turbine hisses as the hydraulics pressurize. Well, that's something. Indicator lights are still red. Oh. Sometimes the engine's sense size moratus connection becomes misaligned. So try adjusting that. Shouldn't need to move it more than a couple of centimeters. Done. Machine remains unchanged. Ha! Huh. Maybe the rotor speed needs to be recalibrated. And done. Something groans inside the uh, turbine. The base of the rotor begins to rumble. Hey, that's it. Don't let the noise fool you. We've, been, we've identified the problem. The rotor must have recalibrated the opposite of what it needed. And one more try and should fix the turbine. Give it a go. I want to repair it. The grumbling sounds of the machine steady in its indicated green light turns green. That's what I want to do. Great work. I'll remember this coming next review. Anything else I can do? Since you're new here, that means you're part time, right? So I suggest you head on home. Catch up on some trade. You deserve it after this. Alright then. Bye. Okay, that wasn't quite what I wanted to do. Talk to her again. Good work. Okay. So we need to get in here. How do we get in there? I've forgotten already. Well, I just want to quickly save. Which I can't do for no good reason. And now suddenly we can. <sighs> Let's come on. First aid station. Away. Uh, 
Gar's brow furrows at your approach. He looks giddy or maybe antsy as he flexes the hand closest to his handgun. Halt! This area is off limits. Only select personnel are allowed in there. You have identification. Charisma 5, showing me a saying security passes. Front desk examining here for a new employee orientation. Your words, he seems to relax. He glances at your passes, hardly long enough to read anything. He returns his gaze to you. Oh, welcome aboard. I'm pretty new myself. Just finished up in the orientation a month ago. Go on ahead and good luck. Keep up the good work. Okay. Hmm. On the elevator wall is a large panel covered in buttons. A keypad is mounted beside it. Buttons are left unlabeled, but you know from the plastic face man data which floors are security stations. I do? Okay, apparently I do. Let's go to sales and acquisitions. Oh, right, we're here. The timid woman looks at you from her station. Excuse me, ma'am, the SANG employees on this floor may not only be seen through a pre approved appointment. Not even maintenance is exempt. Do you, do you have an appointment? This will only take a second. Just need to tweak some air units. If they get fixed on your watch, it'll look good on your record. Then I can get on with the rest of my work. Orders too. Wait for both of us. What do you say? She fiddles with an earring. I don't see why not. Just have to try to have an appointment ready next time, okay? Access the air units. You'll need employees to clear the area. And get security to wash people out. If that would help, I don't need to bother anyone. I can work around them. Have a good one. You too, ma'am. That's handy. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Let's talk to the manager. Woman's eyes, your uniform, she smiles. Something I can do for you? Just a routine check on the maintenance for maintenance issues. Things running in order here? Absolutely. We have no problems, but my office really does. Our sales team is Sang's top performer. Contracts and acquisitions team to the south of us, however. I check in with them, ma'am. They're bound to be minor technical problems. As one would expect from professional snackers. Thanks for the tip. Woman before you looks like a, uh, one very burnt out suit. What do you want? Look at you, I'd say Cordell is just around the corner. How's your team doing? You need to talk about it? She's not lip on sure. With a sigh, she speaks. Yeah, why not? Dad will ever see you again. I could use a good vending session. It's the slack ranking here. My team contracts and acquisitions in the, is in the deep end, but not because we're slackers like sales. And have you believe? The way she bites into what sales reeks of amity. Because the system isn't based on merit. We're working our asses off over here while sales doesn't even have to lift a finger. And while they're ranked ahead of us, they're way behind work-wise. But guess what? Sang doesn't care about it. All they look at are the ranks. Come this quarterly review, whoever's last in the slack rankings will get demoted, or worse, sent back to the training pool. She shudders. I bet the other team's taking advantage of the situation, too. You don't have to tell me. Sales is reveling in our distress and running in their success in our faces. But it's not just that, they're also undermining our work by denying us important data that my team needs in order to hand off our contracts to sign up our management. As if the rankings weren't enough. If I could get you that data, she gives you a long look. It's it for you. I've got a work order for the security station here, but I don't have the credentials to access it. I need to complete the project as much as you need the sales team's data. Could you get me in there? Think of it in exchange of services. I have the code, but for what? I'm not supposed to have it. I technically don't have the credentials either. I'm kind of uh, seeing one of the guys in security. You wanted me to have a safe place in any case anything happened here. Don't worry, if it comes to it, I'll take the hit. 
to choose another lip knots. Okay, I'll do it. So that seems data for the station code. That's the deal. I understood. Okay, now we need to go up and right, not down and right. I'm sorry, this is not public tunnel. This is a little like asshole. Get out of here. How can I help you, man? Got word of a level 8 maintenance issue right here in your office. It's not fixed now, things will get messy. I need everyone out of the room for the next half hour. Her mouth drops open after the initial surprise drains away. She looks doubtful. What kind of issue are we talking about? The kind you won't live through unless you and yours get the hell out of here and let me do my job. Now look, Kelsen, you have no right to traipse in here and start making unfounded demands of me and my workers. Any all repairs you need to make must be made through that we've left at the end of the business day. If we have a problem with this, take it up as a security. Can't do this. Not yet. Try this, maybe. Calm, stern faced man stands before you. He casually checks his watch as he addresses you, his voice tinged with boredom. I've been expecting you, like the maintenance uniforms, by the way. The enemy on our skin, classic infiltration tactic. Are you messing with me? Not at all, I'm well connected here at Sign. I have eyes everywhere. When I was informed of your presence in the building, I knew it was the opportunity I've been waiting for. Are you done yet? No places to be, people to kill. He snaps his fingers and the girls behind him, trying the weapons on your position. Before you decide anything, at least hear me out. You're in a position to come out of this with edge against Zang. That alone should be enough to pique your interest. Watch again. It just so happens that you've stumbled around to the right place at the right time. He keeps his gestures subtle. But he can't hide the cockiness in his voice. I imagine it doesn't happen often in your line of work. I'm listening. I know you're on the job, but this won't take long. Josephine is running this corporation into the ground. Much like the way you're undermining her efforts here today, I too am preparing to make a move against her. And therein lies the beauty of our situation. We're in a position to help each other out. What do you need done? It's simple. I give you access to Sang's core system and widen it while inside you're retrieving data for me. Well, that look pretty bad on your access history? The corners of his eyes crease as a flat smile stretches across his jaw. A little tridio editing and some creative violence on my guard's part and you'll claim your cell and enter the Matrix by force. Your invasion of our direct systems will only bolster our strikes against Josephine. Deal. He clasps his hands together. Excellent. The information I need is in the data store labeled foreign accounts. Return those files to me, and you're welcome to whatever else you find in the matrix. Don't get clumsy. Avoid setting off the system alert, or my services will have to kill you to cover up our part in the scheme. I can't afford to arouse any suspicion, and you sh should you try to leave this office and I don't have the files, our deal is off, and I'll see that you don't leave this building alive. Play your cards right, and this may be the beginning of a new business relationship. Okay, so we have to enter into here. Have Isabel Jack in. God, I hate these. Target, that's 
Zap it. Really? Wow, that's pretty potent. Um, well, let's just hit at it. Oh, miss. Really, really, really. 30 fucking 2 host damage. Jesus. Tempted to jack out because 32 host damage just. Frankly. Yeah, yeah, relax. I'll get your data. But uh, first. Can I not? Okay, well, well. Fair enough. We'll do that later then. We can't heal that outside of combat. Save. Let's see how we do here. What two, three, two, one. Nine, eight, six, four. Nine eight six four. Seven three three one one. Seven three three one one. Six six nine eight two. Six six nine eight two. One more. One seven four five nine six. Four. So W and M middle and there. Done. Inside the foreign accounts file is a series of recent transactions. Looks pretty standard. Several signed monetary details with fallen partners and businesses. Some money can coming, some outgoing. Close look at the files and a variance in the pattern appears. It seems a few of the deals are encoded to prevent them from appearing in the company's standard financial logs. Interestingly, the handful of encoded files all contain records of deals established through bribery with some of Sang's business partners. Even more interesting is the chunk of clean new yen that's attached to the data. Oh, wow. That's a lot of money for us. So I'm just going to quickly save that. Because frankly, that's exceptional. Come on. Hack it. Let's start. Seven, nine, seven, five. Seven, eight, nine, four. Six, one, four, four, six. Six, one, four, four, six. One, eight, eight, three, six. One, eight, eight, three, six. I'll try one more. One, four, four, nine, two, seven. One four four nine two seven. Yeah, let's do one more. One one three six five nine. One one three six five nine. Next. So one there and a W there. So one here. Nope. Shit. 
So W and a thing and another W. W thing and another W. W thing and another W. There we are. A series of holographic components spring from this data archive linked by regional relational vectors. Financial records on Wall City Project. Glowing blue white letters crystallize above the tangled network. Document cluster 8201 WCP 003 secure dot 11 final. Wall City Low Income Housing Project financial records and reporting final. Material class 11 granted access only. Executive summary describes the finances of the Walled City's construction contact, contract. Saying mechanical services received about 950 million yen from other corporations by the Executive Council, and then spent this money to build the Walled City. Most is a dense description of cost targets, metrics, financial analysis, and accounting methods. However, a short section of the final paragraph stands out. Cheap 35% diversion of funds, whilst maintaining workmanship at generally acceptable levels, severe downward cost pressures, large finance risk, and informational information control presented major challenges in executing financial strategy for the WCLIPHP. Co-construction of two concurrent initiatives, WCLIHP and Prosperity, represented a major financial as well as operational challenge. Such large funding diversions are difficult to adequately obfuscate. Author again wishes to note that WL. WCL IPHP official records in the current form may not withstand scrutiny during the post project audit by Executive Council. Deep revisional ex post facto is advised. Scan through files. Language of these documents is an opaque fog of finance and accounting without special training. It is incomprehensible. The associated visuals are a tangle of pie charts and dynamic graphs with data layers like pre adjusted accruals, taxable share, payroll applications, and deep deprecation flow. Most are uninteresting or esoteric. However, three options stand out. Master cash flow. A layer of luminous green lines appear to be flowing through the system chart. They appear to be budgets and fund reservoirs coded for various purposes. The green lines are divided into two sections, each has glowing white text beneath. Read section 1, project receivables, 900 blah blah blah, fantastic location, diverse percentage, therefore, read section 2, enormous scrolling list of all series redacted, go back. Two of these in excavation and dense network of tiny nodes and branching lines appears inside the system chart. Seems to be a granular mapping of utility related allocations, expenditures, assets, organizational hierarchy forms beside the system chart. Listing upper management, the utilities component at the top, you see a familiar name Edward Sang, Vice President of Special Projects. Directly beneath him are two subordinates, Cameron Yu, Construction Engineer, Excavation Utilities. Under Cameron Yu, a full organizational chart fans out dozens of names and positions. The name of the second subordinate is missing and replaces a single word redacted. Under the second subordinate, a much larger organizational chart appears with hundreds of nodes in the second chart. However, the same word accompanies every node redacted. Fund reallocation substructure. Ooh, access priority node. No files exist. Close files. Download and disconnect. And in the data chip in New Yen, got it. Ordered, you ordered embezzlement, you got it. Hey, now it's the chip from your outstretched hand. Very good, you came through as, I prom as promised. A wise choice. I may have need of reliable people such as yourself in the future. I'll keep you in my books if you keep me in yours. See ya. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay. Now, of course, we have a problem. But that's a problem for next time, when we all head up and see if we can go in via a different way, or at least improve our charisma to level 6. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please subscribe. If not, don't worry about it. Thank you again, and goodbye.